Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Namibia, land of the brave. Brave men and women who dedicate their lives to protecting a country of harsh terrain, ancient cultures and vulnerable wildlife. Namibian conservationists Dr. Rudy and Marlies van Vieden are on a mission to travel the length and breadth of Namibia to meet these intrepid individuals and to witness the incredible work they undertake on a daily basis. These are the unsung heroes of Namibian conservation and these are their wild jobs. The African wild dog. These elusive carnivores once occurred throughout sub-Saharan Africa, from mountain summits to deserts. But today, the species is virtually eradicated from North and West Africa, and greatly reduced in Central Africa and Northeast Africa. They have disappeared from much of their former range. After a lot of hard work, years and years of trying to get a value for wild dogs, our minister just proclaimed the wild dogs as a protected species in Namibia. But it is not only direct conflict with humans that causes the decline in their numbers. Ongoing habitat destruction and infectious diseases also contribute. Currently, the total wild dog population is estimated at only about 6,600 adults in 39 subpopulations. In 1994, the species was declared as threatened by the IUCN. Many efforts are made to conserve these enigmatic creatures. Marlies had a call from a farmer in the northeast of Namibia who had raised two young wild dogs. He has decided he would like them to be relocated to a more natural environment. They can't be released back into the wild due to being exposed to humans. It was decided, therefore, to relocate them to Nankusi. Our plan is to, after we land it, go with the vehicles and uh, put the dogs under anesthesia. And then our race against time starts because they're going to sleep for about an hour and a half and the flight is about an hour and a half. Right. Hoe wil je maken, Jacob? Kom ons maken daar op. Ja. Dan maken we daar eigenlijk ook op. Ja. En dan super die duper. Steven zo met elkaar. Zo nu nog wel op twee dagen gaan. Als hij vloeit, komen hè? Amper, amper, amper vloeien. Dat is amper een. Waai mooi. Waai mooi. These two dogs have become used to humans because they grew up in a household. But since then, they've had less and less contact with people. Okay, very good. With the two pumps safely in the crate, it's back to the aeroplane where Rudy will have to sedate them for the flight. Yeah, you're not going to. 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 Yeah, you're not going to.
یخنی ایتالیا پای نار تو مابات خود ما خانه بری پای و خوف ولی فور برای ایک دنگ نیا خانه ولی انگه سپایت کرینی خان پروبیر خان ولی ایش پروبیر انگه سپایت چه کی انگه سپایت کرینی خانه که دارد موت ماک این اون خانه تیلگ خنوق my rolls must be tracked, to make sure they are all asleep in the flight too. So we must spice them here, what they are for. But Lisa, we must help you. So you see, cut the tray. Go to all of them off. All of them off. Okay. With Marlisa's help, Rudy manages to inject the two and soon they're fast asleep. They're both still very young and the sedative dosage is calculated according to their weight. <laughs> The pups are flying business class today, and Marlies has prepared a comfortable bed for them. With the pups loaded safely, they can take off. But it's going to be a long flight. It's hot, and the dogs don't smell too good. Marlies will be monitoring them constantly during the flight. It would be chaos if they woke up and it could put their and Marlies and Rudy's lives in serious danger. RPM, top of green. Fortunately, everything goes without incident. Landing light goes off, goes right away, take away the flaps. Because of a tailwind, the flight goes a bit quicker than anticipated, and the pups are still asleep when they touch down at Nantkasi. They offload them as quickly as possible before they wake up and put them into a transport cage to take them to a quarantine camp. There is a problem. On the way to the quarantine camp, the dogs wake up and one is not looking well. Animals reared in captivity often have underlying medical conditions or deficiencies that one might not be aware of, especially if they weren't inoculated against diseases, like feline flu. This is what's happened to the little pup. Fortunately, there is a resident vet at Nankusi who will take care of the dog. 
In the meantime, the other healthy dog is released in its enclosure. With a species like the wild dog that is on the brink of extinction, it is imperative that every effort is made to save each individual. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. It seems as if the numbers of hyenas in the south of Namibia are on the increase. Up until now, Marlies and Rudy haven't had a good opportunity to monitor and study the movements of hyenas in this area. So, when they got a call from a biologist at Noiras, a private nature reserve, saying that she has caught a spotted hyena in a trap cage, they wasted no time in getting there. Three hyena species occur in Africa, of which the spotted hyena is the largest. After lions, the spotted hyena is the second largest carnivore on the continent. a spotted hyena. It's the first for the whole team, for Nakuse, for Noiras, and it's the first one in a very long time at the southern parts of Namibia. And I can't wait to do this. We're going to put it on a collar and then monitor this hyena, initially every two hours for the first week or so. And the reason why we're doing it is that the last uh, st study on hyenas, on the spatial ecology of hyenas, was done in 1978. And in the last two years, farmers in this area are complaining that the hyena numbers are through the roof. And we want to research that and see what the real status is. Is this your first hyena ever? This is my first hyena ever, not oh! only with Nora, so I'm quite I'm excited about I'm, I'm, I'm not just as excited as you are. <laughs> this is the first for, for all of us. So. Yes, I think this yeah. is going to make a big contribution to conservation in this area. Mm -hmm.
baby. Something very interesting. Jeanette has got this specific hyena on her camera traps many times, and she's got only one eye, and we think it's the same hyena. We're going to identify her on the camera trap photos now. Unbelievable. This is one of the first hyenas that we identified here on Noiras on the camera traps and we marked it as that her right eye is, is gone. She doesn't have a right eye and you can't believe it but we've caught her on a, in the capture cage. Hyenas can exert 800 kilograms of pressure when they bite. Incredibly strong jaws. So, you don't want to get your arm or your hand in here. Now, I'm just going to measure the, the teeth. Right. We're just putting it around a GPS um, collar. We're going to get a download now for every two hours, for the first week or so, just to properly know where the gaming files of these um, spotted animals are. I'm really happy that she's a female because. Females normally stay in the group, they, they run the social structure, um, that will give us a good indication. I'm now going to give the antagonist to reverse one of the drugs so the hyena can wake up. She's been under now for an hour and ten minutes, so I'm going to just reverse her now. Nice, eh? Nice to see her wake up. <laughs> One moment she was in the capture cage, the moment, next moment she was free. <laughs> and a great day for conservation, huh? Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager. Yes. 
Kalip ons, ons is nou so blij, ons is so bekommerd door die een en wat sy pas en kijk nou. Ok, nou, nou, nou. And it's so beautiful to see how happy his little sister is to see him. It's okay. It's okay. Wild Jobs Namibia with Rudy and Marlies is proudly sponsored by Vintuk Lager.